Hi there. I'm Cindy Linden, and this is a Cook Along Podcast Quick Bite. If you listen regularly to the Cook Along Podcast, you will have heard a ton of interesting tips that I throw in as I'm cooking, stuff I've learned over the years of cooking that I'm not even thinking about that just show up when I'm doing a recipe. I thought it would be fun to do this Quick Bite Podcast about some things that I've told you before. And some that I never get around to sharing that I really think are cool tips. I just thought I'd just sort of randomly scatter them in front of you for you to choose from. We're going to start, of course, with measuring flour. I will say this every single time. I have said this every single time that we have cooked a recipe together in which you are baking something with flour. Because it really does make a huge difference. Always, when you're baking anything, stir up your flour, fluff it up, just gently stir it before you measure anything out, because otherwise you're getting way too much flour. It's packed, it's dense, gravity's been working on it for who knows how long. You need to fluff it up just gently so that it's aerated, that's the official term, before you scoop it into a cup. And that's the second part. Don't scoop your cup into the flour, scoop your flour into the cup. Take that newly fluffed flour and spoon it into your measuring cup. Otherwise, again, you will have way too much flour. What's a big deal about that? Some people might ask if they don't listen to the Cook Along podcast regularly. The big deal is that it will make your baked goods drier and tougher less flaky and less fluffy, and they just won't be as good as you want them to be. This is a simple way to make your baked stuff better. Now let's talk about baking soda. I've told you, you can use it to clean pans with, and I highly recommend that you do that. But here's some cooking things with it. If you're browning some ground beef or some ground turkey or some ground chicken, If you add just a pinch, and I really do mean just a tiny pinch, it takes an eighth of a teaspoon. You just sprinkle that in while you're browning your meat, and it will make the meat brown better. Instead of boiling in its own juice and its own moisture, the moisture gets sealed inside the little bits of ground beef, and the outsides of the ground beef are actually against the pan and not against the juice or the liquid, and they actually brown. This is an amazing trick. You won't believe me until you try it. You will be so shocked at how quickly it browns when you're used to it just sitting there turning gray, okay? Just sprinkle in a tiny pinch of baking soda next time you're going to brown some meat and watch what happens. It's very cool. It also can help your onions caramelize way faster. Just a tiny pinch of baking soda. You know, caramelizing onions takes a long time. If you really want them caramelized, you're going to stand around watching them cook on very low heat for a really long time, getting brown and wilty and sweet. If you add a pinch of baking soda, it makes that process so much faster. Now let's go back to meat for a minute. You may have read this. You may have heard this. If you haven't, it's important. If you're trying to brown a piece of meat, whether that's a chicken breast or a pork chop or a steak, the meat needs to be dry. You have to pat it dry with a paper towel or something before you cook it. Otherwise, what's hitting the pan is essentially liquid and not the meat because there's a liquid coating on the outside of most meat when you take it out of the package. You need to dry that off before you try to brown it, or again, you may get more gray than real brown. And when you take the moisture off the surface of the meat, the meat is going to instantly stick to your pan. Here's the second trick, which is don't turn it over and don't take it off the heat until it releases on its own. It's going to be stuck there. You're going to pry your little spatula underneath there and think, oh no, I've stuck this to the bottom of the pan and it's, uh, I've ruined it. Just wait. Eventually, you will stick your little spatula underneath there and it will pick up really easily. It'll just scoop right off. Why? Because it's crusty now and it wants you to turn it. Up until then, it did not want you to turn it. So that's the trick. Dry off the meat, put it in the pan, don't move it, 
until it lets you do it easily. It's communicating something important to you. Okay? Those are the tips for today. And until next time, happy cooking! Happy cooking! 